Here we go. Three more nights of racing with the Advantage RV Mod Tour. This is going to be the final three nights of this stretch. Unfortunately, Onyx can't join us for this stretch because he's got his own racing to do. But we're going to go semi-locally tonight, starting in uh, Fergus Falls, Minnesota. About a one-hour drive for us. I don't want to hit car owner Corey's wellhead here. Uh, and then we're going to all the way to Miller, South Dakota tomorrow, and then halfway back to Watertown, South Dakota. So here we go. Smile, boys, you're on candid camera. Hi, Zach. Oh, hi, everybody. It's an idea. The opportunity arises. Ready to go. What was the last day when Zaw was summer? First heat of the weekend, we roll off start six, third row outside. Got a pretty stout heat race. Need to finish top two to qualify for the redraw in order to start eighth or better, depending what we draw. It's gonna be tough. We got our work cut out for us. If we finish third, we're already halfway back in the field later. We'd end up starting 12th because we're in the fourth heat. So we'll see what we can do. The car's been good here, except for a couple weeks ago when we tried something. We're adding some fuel to it. It looks pretty slick out there, so we'll go see what happens. Onyx's race live right now. He's running second, lap six of eight. That's the reason he's not here with us, because he's trying to get it done himself. He's got a little bit, just a tick slower lap time than the guy leading it. Second. Well, he said his new buggy's been running pretty good. He was really fast in the first heat. Got second in both heats, so. We'll see. Aaron, I had a lot of questions in the last video about why you were polishing the tire. Because he's bored. Because he's bored. There you have it. The truth is, those tires can seal up or get a glaze on them after you heat cycle them. So we're trying to grind that off and buff the tires. We're not trying to polish it and make it smooth. We're just taking that glaze off, roughing them up a little bit, getting to fresh rubber. Everything can be perfect with the car, but if your tires are no good, nothing's any good. We finished third in the heat, which was good. We moved up, but we didn't make the redraw. So we're gonna end up being in the fourth heat that puts us 12th. So we got some work to do. We're halfway back in the field already, but you know. Intermission right now. So they're adding a little water to the track, packing it in, try to get a little bit of traction back into it. It's the calm before the storm. Yep. You run gas? Yep. Ready? Yep. Easy. We made one small change to the right rear just to try and tighten it up a little bit. I felt like it was actually rotating a little too well. We want to keep the car a little bit straighter than that, so I think it's going to clean off. It's obviously going to clean off and dry up as we go. It always does here, so again, see what we get. And by the way, Onyx won his race tonight, so he's pretty pumped. He started fifth, took the lead early on, and 
won a dang race. So he hasn't won at that track for over a year. So I think he's pretty excited. Apparently that new motor's working good. So last night, Onyx got it done, and I, I did not. We ended up seventh with the mod last night, which is respectable, a decent run, especially coming from 12th against that competition, but it's not where we wanna be. We were really hoping for a, a top five, top three, but we understand the level of competition that was there. So tonight I got to get, uh, I got to get Onyx's cart ready to go here so that I can have it loaded up for grandpa because grandpa's taking him tomorrow. And tonight we go on the road about four and a half hours west, southwest to Miller, South Dakota for night number two of this swing. There's only two races left of this series with the modified. So hopefully we can put together a couple of decent shows. In the meantime, I'm going to change oil on uh, Onyx's buggy here. Give him a, set of gears that's going to match the bigger track that he's going to tomorrow. Have you named any of those kitties under the deck yet? Uh, no. No? That wraps things up with Onyx's buggy. Got it loaded in the trailer for him and Grandpa tomorrow. Now I'm going to unhook it and bring over the 6X rig. And we got about an hour and a half before we got to take off here. So we're going to have to scoot because we got to change engine oils do some tire work uh tranny oil some odds and ends stuff like that there's the wrench man right there now we can get some work done morning kurt ready to do it again yeah let's do it tonight huh let's increase by about six positions that'd be that'd be cool be favorable yeah yep. Are those the fast ones? Yep. Are right. they fast if I put the little one on the top? Yeah. Uh, really... It depends on the track. Yep. Oh, we're going to a big track, so the big one on top, right? Yeah. Okay. Probably this time. Okay. <laughs> Evo. There's Onyx doing his victory donuts that apparently he didn't get to do last night. That's how you know you're raising them right. How'd your hockey game go this morning? Uh, we got crushed. You got crushed? Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't like your race last night? No. Just, just beer, no ice? Just beer and tobacco. Like two That's bags it. Of, two bags of chips and a candy bar. Slap has joined us. I made it. Now it's a party. Now we can party. It was, a, it was, a, we took some back roads on the way here. My kidneys are a little sore, but the strap hung on. We were watching that. Oh, that's good. That's Kurt was trying to sleep. I did Not sleep very well. Bit. Not well, no. Not well. What do you guys think of uh, South Dakota so far now that we're about three and a half hours in? Boring. Scenery. Kind of flat. Scenery is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure about a puzzle. Oof. We might have to have a talk with Ruben about this. There's, there's got to be somewhere to race on the way so we can break it up a little. <laughs> I got to pee. Can we stop? No. Are we there yet? No. You got to just hang in there. Oh, man. Anyone have any idea where to park? After giving the brake pads a closer look, I've decided to put in new ones here. I wonder if last night we weren't kind of topping out the pistons in the 
in the brake rotors, calipers, brake calipers, and uh, had weak brakes. Onyx. Yeah, I drew 91 out of 100. It's just big and sweeping, like really sweeping corners. Like it, it, it's gonna race like a great big circle, I think. Yep. You're gonna watch it on Dirt Race Central. Cookie, huh? No thanks, I'm good. Miller Central Speedway, one of the few places I've never seen until tonight. It looks big, looks like it's gonna be it's gonna race like a circle, a big round circle, narrow racetrack, relatively flat. We're gonna go out there, uh, had a terrible draw again. So start fourth row on the outside, uh, eighth out of eight cars in the heat. The silver lining is, uh, well there really isn't one right now. So we'll, we'll just go out and see if we can make one happen. We need a top three in order to make the redraw. We got three heats here. So top three will put us in the draw somewhere first through ninth. Take that we ran eighth to second kind of looked like honestly if we had had another lap I think we'd have had it I was really coming in soft and it was helping my exit a lot car was digging holes as long as I could keep it straight and stay out of the sand so we got plenty of traction but the car was a little bit tight through the center so I don't know we'll think about freeing it up just a little bit or else maybe we'll just let the track come to it we'll watch it and see but that puts us in a redraw so we will draw for anywhere from first through ninth and see what we get. I'm gonna check the stagger on those beasts. Seven eighths. Seems a little dark in our pit stall, Corey. Yeah, I think the track forgot to put in the lights. Well, usually we're able to take advantage of people that have better lights on their trailer, but we didn't park close enough to Dave. Yeah. What do you do? We got light on this side. We roll off sixth in this one, third row outside. Obviously the car was decent in the heat, so hopefully it's decent for 30 laps here in the feature.
here I am, we're back in Watertown. Just a quick trip out into the middle of South Dakota. I think it's about 60 degrees colder here now than it was earlier this afternoon. 45. 45? It's probably pretty close. I think it'd be a decent track if it was a little more racy. It was just not. Just went one lane quickly. Well, that was and that. Now we're in Watertown. Good night. Aaron. Yes. I'm still sleepy. Yeah. We all are. Looks sunny out there. It's rather bright. Final night of not just the Advantage RV tour right out of here in Watertown, South Dakota, but final night of the weekend here as well. This is a small track. I've been here three, four times maybe. Very tight corners, short straightaway. Um, and it races really well when I've been here. They've had the track right, and it's it's an intense little place. It's a lot of fun. So haven't been here in five or six years probably. Never been here in a mod. The only times I've been here is in a late model. So here we go. Not too many tracks that we race at that are small like this. There's a few that are comparable, but this is probably probably the smallest place, the shortest gears that we run anywhere. After a couple of nights of bad draws, starting last row in the heat tonight, we drew a really good number. We're gonna start outside the pole. We need a top two to make that redraw, so hopefully we can get that done. the heat and redrew the pole for the feature so yeah starting on front row is good but I hate it so I mean I guess we'll just do 40 laps and see what happens that's all we can do that's all that's Kurt oh <laughs> I saved your life see that reflex <laughs> saved your life you got any good advice tonight Kurt yeah we're it's our turn now it's huh? our turn it's our turn I think it's our turn I hope you're right I hate the front row so bad. I hate it. Well, that sucked. Well, that was one of those nights where you leave the track thinking, why do I pick this for a hobby? It's really not bad. It isn't gonna take a lot of work. The bumper and the nose support did exactly what they were supposed to do. They crumpled up and saved the rest of the car. I'm pretty confident that the tire and wheel didn't actually take a hit here, so I think all the critical stuff is actually straight. It's just gonna be the bolt-on bumpers and the tin work up front here, so it's really just annoying stuff that ended up knocking us out of the race. Fact of the matter is that the driver screwed up on that one. We had the lead there. We led the first, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what it was, seven, eight, nine laps. Um, the driver screwed up a restart, handed the lead away. And when we had another restart a few laps later, I really wanted that lead back. I took a, I took a big risk by going to the top and trying to make something work. I was thinking if a few guys would go up there with me for a couple laps, we could clean it off and get it to work because there was a pretty good ring around the top and corner one and two. I just needed some help up there, but uh, 
I didn't get it. I fell backwards by the time I moved down. I was in fifth place, and uh, about a lap after that, guy in front of me spun out. We tagged him, pushed the nose right down into the ground. So one of those deals where the driver messed up, um, we'll, we'll piece it back together, and we'll, and we'll go back and do it again because sometimes we love to race. The good news is Onyx raced three times this last weekend, and he won every single show. So maybe we should put Onyx in this thing. Anyway, we're going to clean it up and fix it up and go back racing and keep making videos. But for now, i got to get some stuff out of here because I'm actually bringing the combine in here. We're going to add some hopper extensions to it today. So look for that over on the Millennial Farmer channel. And thanks for watching this channel.